Here's some details of section three with this with the soft kick. So we're in this position and we pivot it. Now we're on the how mount back stance. 80 20. Our fists are to our chest and we lift up. So the difference, like I mentioned, is that this one lifts up the knee a little bit higher so that we can stomp out and down with your weight and your hips. Okay? The first time we did an athlete action with our toe or with our heel. This time we're going to do a downward action. So you lift your knee higher and use a downward action to stomp down. The target should be your heel. So from this angle, lift it up. Your toe should be, shouldn't be straight like this. It should open up like this. It doesn't have to be 45 degrees. You can be slightly like this, and we stomp it down like that. Stomp it down like that. From here, when you drop, use that momentum to bring your forward, body forward. So, one more time. Up, stomp. When it drops, use that momentum to bring your body forward. From this side, let's move this, this direction. Knee up. Stomp down, use their momentum. Use the momentum. So it's kind of like leg first, then your foot first, then your hip, then your back, then your shoulders, then your arms, and then back foot follows. One more time, knee up, stomp downwards, but not down here. I want to stomp as far out as possible, but at the same time, extend as far as possible that way, but use your weight to uh, stomp it downwards at the same time. So if you can't lift it high, you can start, you can try stomping down lower, but ideally, you want to lift your knee a little bit higher, stomp it down as high as possible. So, you can flip first. Heel first, then your foot goes down, knees out, hips, the back, out to your shoulders, out to your hands, and then the back foot follows. So that's some more details on the stomp kick and the shuffling.